Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be discussing beauty hacks. It's going to be like everyday you need to know makes life a hundred times easier. You put on lipstick or lip gloss and it's a bit too glossy and you want to make it more matte so you add some powder with a brush or your fingertips. I mean some people don't have brushes. I know I don't have a lot of brushes. Yeah, so just put some powder on. Beauty hack number two is baking soda makes your teeth whiter. Yay, thumbs up for white teeth. Just put it on a toothbrush, dampen it a bit, brush your teeth. Now this is going to taste awful, so what you going to do? Number three, you must brush from the bottom and then work your way up and this will just help get the knots out from the bottom so that you don't feel like you're actually just ripping hair out. Number four, to dry your nail polish faster. Dip your nails into like a bowl of some cold, cold water. Number five, the perfect mascara line. What you should do is cut a, cut just a piece of cardboard, a piece of card, so you don't have to go then afterwards and fix everything up after you've just spent so much time doing your eye makeup. Number six. Okay, so we all have that problem with our favorite mascara is just dried up or it's a mascara that was really expensive and you now don't know what to do, you can't go and buy another one because if you're like me, you don't earn money yet. <laughs> Thanks mom. So you take your mascara tube, you stick it in a bowl of hot water, not boiling, just hot. You leave it in there for about, I'd say like five minutes, take it out and it should be a lot gooey, yeah. A lot more moistened. <laughs> Number seven. If you're one of those people like me, your ears get really sensitive to fake jewelry. So one way to correct this is to paint some clear nail polish on top of the actual part that goes through your ear. Number eight. You actually burn more calories digesting celery than you would eating it. What? Number nine. Can't do nine. Number nine. You don't need an eye primer, ladies. You can use concealer or some base. Just put it on your eyelid and it will make whatever you put over it a lot, lot more pigmented. Number 10. To prevent rusting on razors, I love this one, take a q-tip and put it in some olive oil and then take that q-tip and rub it on your razor and this it just protects your razor from rust and yeah I just thought that that was such a neat trick. personally do this because I don't fall out my eyebrows as you may see they're pretty not really well groomed I don't know who got time for that one of these tips just for anyone who does have straggly eyebrow hairs or does actually keep good control of their eyebrows is to put some lip balm on your eyebrow hairs if you're out and about and you don't have anything else what this does is it just tames the little hairs Her well, so to get rid of puffy bags under your eyes or puffy eyes, I personally get this a lot. I, I wake up and I usually have like blue lines under my eyes. But one good way to get rid of this is to take two teaspoons and put them in the fridge or freezer. Then put them over your eyes or under, so on top over here, or put them like under here. And this apparently helps get rid of the puffiness. Thumbs up for no more puffy eyes. No. 
number 13. Your eyeshadow does not just have to be for your eyes. See if I have, if you guys can actually see, I have some blush on and some highlighting. If you can't tell, just a little bit. That is actually eyeshadow. <laughs> I do. Eyeshadow is not just for your eyes. Number 14 is for people like me who suffer from getting dry skin on your feet. You know, especially in winter. I know it's summer now in Cape Town for us. But I don't know, I suffer from like getting dry skin on my feet. So this will really help. So what you do is you take Vaseline, smear it all over your foot. It's gonna feel horrible and weird. Put a sock over it and then you leave it overnight. Then the next morning you take your socks off, obviously throw them in the wash. Wash your feet and your feet should feel velvety smooth. I actually tried this last night. And I'm telling you my feet actually feel amazing. Number 15. So have you ever been out with like a really red lipstick and you feel that it's gonna get on your teeth? So a good way to, pre to prevent this is, so say you're wearing like, I don't know, this isn't, this isn't very dark, but if it was a red or whatever, you just take your thumb, go like that, and then all the excess will just be left on the like rim of your thumb. Number 16 is an exfoliating natural exfoliating trick for your legs. Some, what was it? Some coffee grinds, some water, and some soap, and just mix it all together. Then you take that mixture, obviously do it in the bath or over a bath or something, so it's gonna be really messy, and you just take that, rub it all over your legs, wash it off. Number 17. A dr towel drying your hair is actually really bad for it. Actually take an old t-shirt to dry your hair. Apparently this like a t-shirt is much softer, it actually absorbs more water. So that's what you can do if you are trying to grow out your hair and do not want to use a towel ever on your hair. Number 18. Having trouble with um, bobby pins, spray them with hairspray, they'll stick in all day. Number 19. Yeah. Rub some lip balm in the places that you would put perfume and then spray the perfume on top of the lip balm and this will actually keep it on all night. Number 20. Okay, so toothbrushes are actually very handy to have around the house, not just for your teeth. So you can use the toothbrush to actually sweep away the baby hairs like just like I do or you can use it to tease your hair or you can use it to exfoliate your lips actually that's actually amazing like I tried this and it actually makes your lips so much softer okay guys thank you so so much for watching my video I know it was quite long um, if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe if you haven't liked please like this video it'll make my day and yeah, just please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. All of my links to my social media stuff is in the description block, block box. <laughs> description box down there.